This is part two for the 3.9 update, and this part is about global settings and MIDI state restore. In the previous version, you had a background scripts action. This is now replaced by a global settings action. And if we look at the global settings action, you see that the background script is now a tab in that action, and it works exactly as before. On the Mackie tab, you can configure the Mackie ports for the eight available devices, and also the device type. In previous versions, you could have a Stream Deck MIDI user settings file to define the device type. And if you have such a file, the settings will be migrated to these global settings, and the file is no longer used. Changing Mackie ports in this global settings action is the same thing as changing Mackie ports in a Mackie control dial or button. If you want to reorder things, you can grab a device header and drag and drop it to wherever you want it to be. The state restore is a new feature. In previous versions, if you had some uh, values assigned to different controls, if you rebooted the computer or restarted the Stream Deck software, as I do now, when the plugin starts, it initializes all values to zero. This new feature means that you can save the MIDI state to a file and restore the state when the plugin is restarted. So if I say I want to restore the MIDI state and add some values to my dials and buttons, it will save the state to a file. The save interval property defines how often the file will be updated. The default value is once a minute. The file may be large, and I see no point in having real-time updates of this file, and I think one minute is a good starting point, but if you need something else, you can, of course, change it. The max age is used when the plugin starts, and the default value is 24 hours, and the idea is that if you have controlled something for, say, three days ago or something like that, the values may not be relevant when you restart the plugin, so it will ignore those values. If you think that all the values are relevant, you can, of course, extend this period as long as you want. If I now restart the Stream Deck software, it will start with the same values as when it was shut down. SUSEX commands are not saved to this file, so things that depend on SUSEX commands will not be restored. And I think the main thing that you will miss is the Mackie control track names, which will not be restored. Please note that it is only the local state that is restored this way. The plugin does not send anything at this stage. That's all for part two. Please check part one if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching.